Hello, everybody. Welcome to On Another Planet Euro 2024 edition. I'm joined by Robbie Savage. Robbie, let's look ahead to this England game. It's England against the Netherlands in Dortmund on Wednesday. Who do you see as favourites? Oh, great question, Seb. England, one win in 90 minutes from five games. They won the group. They've got through. They're in the semi-finals, not playing well. People say about Portugal, you know, they won the tournament by not playing well. Nobody remembers that. But people do remember it because everybody's saying, do you remember Portugal not playing well and winning the competition? So people do remember a team not playing well, but winning it. This will be very similar. England have not performed to their capabilities, but... The three, four, two, one worked. Um, there was a better press. People playing in their rightful positions, Fordham and Bellingham. Um, I thought Saka was amazing. You know, his best performance. I think that was the first shot England had on target, his wonderful strike. Um, brilliant penalties. Um, so I look at it now, and it's. I think this will be their most difficult game. Um, I think it might be a little bit more expansive, both teams. I don't think the Netherlands will sit back. I think they've got very good attacking options. Um, I'm not going to say it's toe to toe, but I just think it might suit England, a team actually opening up um, against them. Um, I think the two big um, dilemmas that Gareth Southgate has, a lot of people, including myself, are saying you've got to play Saka on the left and Trent on the right. Gareth Southgate knows far more than me. Um, he stuck to his beliefs and his principles. Saka, keeping him on the right was brilliant. Great goal. You know, that's what he does. He cuts inside that left foot and he scored the goal. The, the big question is, who come, does does Gehi, who had a brilliant tournament, come in for Konza? And Shaw, who got minutes, does he come in for Trippier? That's the only changes I think um, you can think about. Everyone else um, starts. So I think there's nine guaranteed starters now in that team, in that formation. The big question is Gehi or Konza. I would go Gehi. I think he's been terrific. And then you look at the Netherlands' right side, you know, um, Dumfries, Bergwijn, or, or Marlon. They've got pace. They've got power down that side. Um, they've got creativity. Um, if you play Shaw, you know, will he push, um, you know, Dumfries back, you know, towards his own goal? Because and we know Dumfries likes to attack as well. Um or do you play the more defensive Trippier? So I'd probably go Shaw. So I would I would make two changes. I would go Shaw on that left hand side. He's got minutes. Um, he's training. So if Shaw's ready to start, I would start him in the semi final, and I would play Gehi. So stick to the three four two one. Um, I thought it worked. Um, I don't think they were brilliant, but you know it suited it suited them that system. So. It's going to be a tough test against the Netherlands, um, but I think England will win it. I think it'll, it'll be a 2-1 win for England, possibly after extra time. I think both teams will score. Um, but again, Gareth Southgate, Gareth Southgate has come under criticism, um, but he, he finds a way. He finds a way in Tottenham football to win games, to get, you know, to get his team through, whether that's in extra time, on penalties. And I've got to say... You look at the mentality of those penalty takers and the squad. If it goes to penalties now, I fancy England to win it because you look at the quality of the penalty takers. And let's not forget, you know, the England's regular penalty taker came was off the pitch as well. So if it went to six or seven, England have got strength and depth taking penalties. So I think, you know, Gareth Southgate now deserves huge amounts of credit. Um, um, for getting England to another semi-final, um, I think they'll get to the final. And I think if they get to the final on a one-off game, they've got a real possibility of of, of winning the European Championships. It'll, and it'll be remarkable. One of the really interesting things is obviously England, up until now, they've played teams that have sat back. It's been difficult to break them down. And in the Netherlands, we could get a, finally a, an opposition that is coming forward and it's going to be a different type of encounter, isn't it? Well, when I'm sure Ronald Koeman and his staff will be looking at England thinking, do we you know, go a little bit more defensive or do we open up? Because if you open up against this England side, you know, with the creativity they've got, um, it could be real problems for the Netherlands. Robbie, one of the main criticisms for uh, Gareth Southgate is the fact he makes changes late in games. If things are not going to plan against the Netherlands, would you like him to make some changes quicker? 
Well, him and his management team have made the right decisions because they're in the semi-finals. So whether those changes have come, you know, on the 60-minute mark or later, whatever they've done so far, they're in the semi-finals with a great chance of getting to the final. So, uh, of course, people and, and, you know, the public and pundits have all been saying that, listen, make changes quicker, but he knows what he's doing. His management team know what they're doing and the changes he's made so far have paid off whatever minute they've been because they're in the semi-finals. So, again, he, he's got trust in his players. And one thing that win against Switzerland did, it showed how together, how the team spirit is, is how much they want to play for that management team and the manager. Um and it was a, it was great to see. It was great to see the scenes at the end, um, and how much respect and how much they want to play for 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 the manager, and that's great. So, I think the Gareth Southgate another semi final. If he can get to a final, it will be, you know, brilliant. And the thing we'll go back to is, everybody says, well, we don't remember Portugal not playing well but winning it. Well, everybody does because everybody keeps going on about it, including myself. So we all say, yeah, Portugal. You know, hardly won a game, but they won it. Yeah, England won winning five in 90 minutes. It doesn't matter. It's a tournament football and Gareth Southgate is proving a tournament football. He knows what he's doing and he's got a great chance. Robbie, for Gareth Southgate, it's obviously his fourth major tournament and he's reached three semi-finals. Does he deserve a bit more respect than he's gained? Um, yeah, yeah I, I think so. I think so. But now you would say with this group... I think they could have won a tournament. I think they've missed opportunities. So now I think for Gareth Southgate, he's gonna he's gonna have to win it. I think I think this group and the groups they've had, they've, they sh they should have won a tournament. Um, so now if he can do that, it will be an amazing achievement. Um, the group of players they've got are fantastic. Um, so again, there's been moments of magic. That have have kept England in the tournament. Let's be let's be clear. Drew Bellingham's overhead kick. It's a it's a moment of individual brilliance. Saka, a moment of individual brilliance. Um, but that's why those players are at the top of the level because they can produce that. And in a team where there's so many England players who can do a bit of individual brilliance, that's why. They've always got a chance. And that's why Gareth Southgate keeps picking those players. And that's why Gareth Southgate leaves those players on. So, again, um, if Gareth Southgate can progress, which I think they will, um, he'll go down, you know, as one of the all-time great England managers. You mentioned, uh, Robbie, you're backing England to beat the Netherlands. But what about the other semi-final? Quick word on that. Spain against France. Who do you think will make it through to Berlin? Uh, you know... Spain have, Spain have probably been the best team in the tournament so far, but very similar to England. A lot of people saying, well, France aren't playing well, but again, they've made another semi-final and their players, a bit like England's, you're thinking they, they're going to click, they're going to produce a performance and I think this could be it against Spain. You know, Spain um, at times can be very open. Um, Carver Howell's missing, Pedri's missing. They've got to make two changes. So I think France, who haven't played well, have got great tournament experience. They know how to win, so does Spain. But I just think on this occasion, I think the big hitters for France will 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 be there. And I think France will nick this one. So I'm, I think a France-England um, final. Thank you very much, Robbie, uh, for your thoughts on the semi-finals. And we'll see you in the next episode.